Hey guys, Matt back again with another unboxing video. Today we are going to be doing an Ichiban Kuji figure. Um, a figure of a character that I actually have no figures at all of, and that is Yamcha, the A prize of the Ichiban Kuji. I think this is the History of Rivals series. So this is a couple months old. Uh, I think that um, the latest Ichiban Kuji that I did with the Shenron and the UI Goku and Evolution Vegeta and Broly. Um, that was one that came out after this one. Um, but it just took me some time to get these. I didn't get the last one prize, which is a special color Yamcha that comes with Poir, um, just because there wasn't really, I mean, he's just a slightly different color and he comes with Poir. So um, I'm good with this. Let's uh, take a look at the box and then talk about the figure, see how uh, my first Yamcha figure stacks up. All right, back to the good old Masterly's figures, and it's an Ichiban Kuji. So, obviously, I'm always excited for Masterly's figures. Um, I wasn't too, um, you know, crazy about this Ichiban Kuji set. Yamcha, Goku, Broly. Um, there's two Yamchas, a, a reissue of Goku, but a pretty incredible Broly that we will get to. Um, but I figured, hey, I don't have a Yamcha figure. Um, I'll get the cheaper one because I'm not really... You know, adamant on getting the special variant color with Poir. I mean, Poir would have been cool, but it's fine. This one's uh, this one's good enough. Um, but yeah, he came whole. Um, he was a little bit smaller than I thought. You know, the box was a little misleading. I think he's like maybe like six inches or something. Um, but but he, I, I don't even think you could notice in the video how small he really is. Um, so that's a little bit disappointing. Um, but yeah, Roga Fufu Ken. <laughs> um, yeah, so, uh, I, I mean, I don't love Yamcha, but uh, I think Yamcha is a pretty, you know, funny jobber in the show, and, uh, you know, an entertaining support character for Goku. Um, one of the disappointments of this figure that I thought was pretty apparent was the lack of shading on the back. Usually Ichiban Kuji has shading throughout, but this one has zero shading in the back, which is kind of unfortunate. Um, but the paint job is pretty good. Uh, I, I think his gi uh, is very flashy, uh, pops out quite a bit. The blues against it are good too. Um, Yamcha's likeness is pretty good too. I, I would say that, I wouldn't say it's like one-to-one -one Yamcha, uh, but it, it's it's very close to Yamcha that it doesn't make him just look like, you know, Goku's face slapped on a Yamcha figure. So I, I like the way he looks, and I like that he's doing the, the Wolf Fang Fist uh, pose. So, for my first Yamcha figure, I, I did like how he came out. The hair mold is great, and, you know, he scales pretty well to other figures. Alright, so final thoughts. I'm going to give this one a 5 out of 7 Dragon Balls. Um, likeness is good, mold is great, paint is done very well, um, but... Uh, I think the lack of shading on the back was pretty disappointing and him being such a small figure for an Ichiban Kuji is also kind of disappointing. Um, so probably not one of my uh, highest rated Master Lease Ichiban Kuji figures, but uh, I did uh, enjoy getting my first Yamcha figure like this. So let me know down below what you guys think. Um, I would love to know um, what you think of this figure and if you plan on getting him and of course be sure to like and subscribe so that we can get more Dragon Ball videos. We're on our way to 1,000 subscribers, so any support helps. All right, guys, till next time. Bye-bye.